The Lone Star State, an energy powerhouse, leading the nation in oil, gas, wind, and soon solar. How then are we home to one of the most fragile, unpredictable power grids in the nation? How will we survive this summer? And how do we prevent what happened two years ago? Well, our historic winter weather outbreak continues here in Central Texas from happening again. For two weeks, reporting from across the state what's new now and what's next in the power of Texas. There is no need to remind everyone how hot it is here in Texas, but if it makes you feel any better, the Earth's core is a lot hotter, around 10,000 degrees. However, when tapped and harnessed, that heat can be used to keep you cool. Our John Salazar shows us how geothermal energy might be the answer to our Texas grid problems. The new road for new energy starts right here. This is Southwest Research uh, Machinery Lab that you're in right now. Before we explain this leading edge engineering contraption designed this lab in San Antonio. All the magic happens there inside. It's been a good year. Let's take a three hour ride to a South Texas cattle ranch where that magic comes from below. So this is it. This is it, John. This is where they moved in a rig because it was plugged and abandoned. Right. So they had to redrill it. By now, you're probably thinking oil and gas exploration far beneath this wellhead. Yes, this area, the temps, the, the rock underneath is even better than what they thought it was. But this 19,000 foot well was dry. None of the fossil fuel mega company Shell was looking for. There hadn't been any production here for years. So Shell abandoned the well, but 15 years later, startup company Sage Geosystems found exactly what they were looking for from the same hole. So they were super excited to know that this area would work for ge geothermal production. And for South Texas, uh, no telling what it'll turn into. We re-entered an abandoned gas exploration well in Star County, Texas. The plan is to pump the Earth's deep buried heat to the surface, subsurface temperatures between 250 to 500 degrees are ideal to produce untapped clean, renewable electricity. These temperatures are readily available at depths of three to six kilometers. The size of this turbine is a lot smaller than the turbines used in the geothermal industry. Back in San Antonio. So this can be a game changer and you're right. It is 100% clean, renewable energy. This is Cindy Taff. She started Sage on the hunt for geothermal energy. Ironically, she was part of the same shell team that first drilled this well back in 2008. We're going after a resource deep in the earth, just like oil and gas, but instead of hydrocarbons, we're going for heat. This is the, the turbine wheel itself. Here at the lab, research engineer John Clanner helped develop a prototype turbine for SAGE, critical to produce electricity from the geothermal heat discovered on Philo's land. For this setup alone here uh, that can be put on the back, roughly the size of an 18-wheeler trailer, can power up to about 2,000 homes. Now, if this project works, looking forward, researchers predict drilling a million and a half wells globally could meet more than 75% of the world's electricity demand. And for it to be on uh, our land, is it means a lot to us. And... Uh, no telling what the future will hold, but uh, I, I believe it's going to be a very bright future. And while geothermal energy has its benefits, there are also some disadvantages. Among them, costs can be high, locations can be limited, and there may be some environmental impacts as geothermal is not considered carbon neutral or necessarily green. But again, it would greatly lower our reliance on fossil fuels. And every day for the next two weeks, Spectrum News is committed to taking a closer look at the power of Texas. Nuclear energy can sound intimidating, but it can also provide stability. Tomorrow on Spectrum News 1, we'll take a look at how much our state relies on nuclear power and why we don't utilize it more. You can see more of these stories on the Power Grid, either on the Spectrum News app or by watching the Connected TV app. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more refreshing stories about your community, click the subscribe button over here.
You can also download our Spectrum News app and tune in to Channel 55 on DISH and DirecTV to get live news coverage, weather updates every 10 minutes, and more. We'll see you then.